All right, yesterday we did the wing bowl with half of the log. Now we'll show you what to do with the other half. We're going to put it in the opposite direction. But today we're going to use the spur center to hold it because the back is not that not that good for a flat spot on here. So we kind of go in here and we'll center it the best we can. Bring the tailstock up. Lock it in place. And we'll check here again see if we're centered or not. Not quite. That don't look too bad. And it don't look too bad that way. We're a little bit off on this side, but we're okay on the other. Okay, so now we're centered. We'll lock that tailstock in. Bring our tool rest around. Make sure we clear. Again, we'll grab our small bowl gouge. And we'll start rounding things out. Closer as we go. Now let's start cutting in that trimming where we're going to be with it, just like that. Then we can come in here and start taking out more. there we need to stop and look and see whether we're getting the ends done and so we've still got a ways to go to get this in rounded out we could go a little bit deeper on our trim tool rest again get it more around to the side let's try to get you zoomed in a little bit there on that side and we got a little flat on this side so we need to go just a hair more. And then again I like to use the scraper that I've got sharpen to make my tannin in here. The nice thing about the square at 90 degree is I can cut the face of the tannin here and I can cut the bottom of the bowl here as I go in. And then like before I'll clean up a little bit of that. And then we can decide whether we're alright there or not. Maybe make one final real fine pass and as we can see everything looks pretty good there we've got a nice smooth finish out with the tail stock we'll get rid of the stem center and again notice my tenon is short enough that it's not going to bottom out in the chuck 
tighten that back in. Now I see I may have some problems. See, I may have a problem with this bark as we can see right here. It, it's already coming loose. So we may not be able to save the bark on this one. And that's what I say. Now see this side looks fine. But we get around to this side and it's coming loose. And, and wood is that way. Some bark will stay, some won't. But we'll see where we come. And we'll bring our tool rest around to the front. Get our height set, make sure we clear, and we're ready to start on the inside. that a little bit of time. Let's see what happens. I'm not going near deep enough, so let's just work on getting it deeper. Let's get our speed up a little bit. Somewhat at getting the outside edge done, uh, but I still try to shape the whole thing at one shot too. Now here I can see from watching my shadow over here. Let me move the camera around. Alright, I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but I can see where the inside of that tool is and, and see how much, how thick that wall is. And see, I can see that wall is still pretty thick there. So I need to go in and take a little bit more out right there. Now the other thing we have to watch is we're coming around here. Of course, here we can get clear in. But, on this side we can't. So as we're coming into that tool, we need to think about where this wing of the bowl is. And we can only come in about to here, cutting that bottom. We cannot come clear in here like this. But, as you can see, our bowl thickness is looking pretty good. So let's finish that out. And we'll just kind of follow that contour around. And here sometimes is where I'll go in and use a scraper. Sometimes for the bottom of these bowls I find it easier just to use a scraper. And I can start right in here in the center. And then I can come out here part way. You can't really come all the way out most of the time, but you can come out part way. Now let's see what we look like. Okay, now I'm happy with the bottom of that bowl. And we did save the bark all the way around. Alright, let's turn that around. Okay, to finish off the bottom of this, I'll just take it out of the chuck. I use some neoprene rubber. Uh, just put that in the bottom. Put it over the chuck. Bring the tailstock back up. Lock it in place. Come right down against it. Get my tool rest put in.
and again I go to my quarter inch detail gouge and then we can come out here and start it in and we're worried about our base right out here then we'll undercut that base a little bit Taking our comb down undercut take that comb down just as far as what you feel comfortable with and once we get it down to where we feel comfortable take our tail stock, get our tool rest out of the way and usually with just a thumb we can knock that off and we've got just a little bit of a nub and we'll sand that. Now again we can come up with our drill and we can sand into that and there we go the nub is gone and we have a nice little natural edge bowl. So these two bowls come off the log like this. The, the log was rounded up here and rounded on the bottom and when we split it in half we did this one from the top and we did this one from the bottom and ended up with the two winged and natural.